Shankachuda threw mystic missiles at Lord Shiva. He also, like a cloud pouring rain, showered arrows on him. He used different kinds of illusory methods that were invisible and bewildering to the demigods and Lord Shiva's followers. Seeing this, Lord Shiva released his supernatural Maheshvara missiles, and these quickly destroyed the illusions, divesting them of their brilliance. Then the powerful Lord Shiva suddenly grabbed his trident, a trident that could not be withstood even by great persons, so as to slay Shankachuda. But to stop him, an unembodied heavenly voice boomed, O oh Shiva, do not throw the trident now. Listen to this request. There is no doubt that you are able to destroy the universe in a second. So what would be the difficulty in destroying this one Dhanava, Shankachuda? Still, you should not ignore the rules of the Vedas. O oh, Great One, rather make them truthful and fruitful. Understand that Lord Brahma has stated that as long as Shankachuda wears the armor of Lord Vishnu, namely the amulet around his neck, and as long as his wife maintains her marital faithfulness, he can neither die nor grow old. He is under these boons. Therefore, please make these boons truthful by not violating them. Lord Shiva replied, So be it. At that moment, Lord Shiva desired to see Lord Vishnu, and so Lord Vishnu appeared there. Lord Shiva told him what he desired, and Lord Vishnu agreed to help him. So, dressed as an aged Brahmin, Lord Vishnu, foremost in mystic power, approached Shankachuda and requested, O oh, King of the Donovers, Please grant my request. Uh, you give away in charity all kinds of wealth and riches, so please grant me what I desire. I am a quiet, peaceful, aged Brahmin. I am very hungry and thirsty, uh, but, but first you make your promise, and then I will tell you what I want. The king, with a kind face and a pleasing eye, swore to him that he would give him whatever he asked for. So the Brahmin said affectionately, I would like your, uh, your amulet. Shankachuda, a well-wisher of the Brahmins who spoke the truth, thus has handed over to the disguised Lord Vishnu his divine amulet. Then Lord Vishnu assumed the form of Shankachuda and went to Tulsi Devi's palace when he approached the entrance, he created the appearance of a victory homecoming, causing others to beat their drums and to shout victory. Tulsi Devi was awakened from sleep. On hearing the sounds, the chaste woman was ecstatic. She eagerly peeped through the windows onto the road. When she realized that her husband had returned, she observed all auspicious rites and offered cash gifts to the Brahmins. Then she beautified herself. Lord Vishnu went to Tulsi's apartment. When Tulsi saw the Lord and thought he was her husband, she was gladdened. She bathed his feet offered obeisances to him, and sobbed. Then she had him sit on the jeweled throne and handed him the auspicious betel leaf that had been made fragrant with camphor. She said, Today my life has become happy, for my beloved who went to fight has now returned home. Drinking him in with wide eyes and a smiling face, Tulsi Devi sweetly asked him about the events of the battle. My lord, how did you do in the battle with Lord Shiva? He is the protector of the demigods and the annihilator of countless universes. You have returned cheerfully after defeating the great Lord. But how did you beat him? Tell me all about it. Lord Vishnu laughed and said sweetly, When I reached the battlefield, there was a terrible clamor. A big battle then followed. The demigods fought the demons, 
and each side was eager for victory. The demigods defeated the demons, but then I fought the powerful demigods. Those whom I defeated sought shelter of Lord Shiva. Then Lord Shiva, to help them, fought me for a long time. My dear wife, Lord Shiva and I fought continuously for a year. All the demons were killed. Then Lord Brahma made us agree to peace. Thus, at Lord Brahma's order, the powers of authority were reassigned to the demigods. So I have come home, and Lord Shiva has gone to Shiva Loka. All have returned to health and normalcy. Thus, the trouble has ended. Lord Vishnu then lay down on the bed with Tulsi Devi and became close with her.